Number 233 is one of the premier offerings at the upcoming Keeneland November sale. Eskimo Kisses, grade one winner, and a man that arguably knows her as, as best as anybody, Kenny McPeak, her trainer. What was so special about her during her racing career? Well, she was a big, powerful filly. I mean, she, she's she got a body of a Greek goddess. I'm real excited for her to be bred to Curlin because there's no telling what this foal is going to look like. And now, to be honest with you, I'm disappointed they're going to sell her because I really would like to train a few horses out of her. But um, she's a great offering, and everybody's excited about it. Um, between Anthony Beck, myself, uh, Harold Lerner, and some other partners that were in on her, um, she's a great filly, and I think somebody's going to really get a great, great filly or a broodmare. And so often timing is everything in this business. And on the heels of, of the son of Curlin, Vino Rosso, picking up a win in the Breeders' Cup Classic, how important do you think that will be to buyers? Well, um, I think even before that, it was going to be a no-brainer because Curlin's so hot right now. He had such a great sales season with all of the Colts that he had sell at auction. And he physically was a monster. I mean, for those that don't remember, I bought him as a yearling as well. And um, between the two of them, they're going to be a great match. And it's, um, you know, it's what dreams are made of owning a mare like that, bred to a stallion like that, and you put two and two together and there's no telling what you're going to get. What was her best attribute? You know, probably her big powerful shoulder. You know, when she went a mile and a quarter in the Alabama at Saratoga, it was a great race for her because it was a distance that she really relished. Um, a mile and a quarter for any horse, you know, we all dream of what, you know, whether it's a derby or the Alabama. But um, she just was just powerful, great big bodied mare. And um, the further she went, the stronger she went. And she, um, she should, should be passing that on. She certainly has a classic pedigree in full to the classic winner, Curlin, hip number 233, part of the Gainesway consignment, Eskimo Kisses.